Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish food recipes. We are making one of the well-known Turkish salad, kısır. It's made with bulgur wheat, has lots of spices and greens, fresh herbs. You can easily prepare it in about 20 minutes. And as a menu along with kısır, I wanted to prepare a Turkish ladies tea party concept. So I have to warn you about full of yummy scenes. Let's get started. Our main ingredient is tin bulgur wheat. I'm gonna show you in a moment. We also going to use tomato paste, red pepper paste, olive oil, pomegranate molasses, onion, scallions, parsley, pickles, fresh cucumbers are optional and lots of spices. From left to right I have cumin, sumac, hot red pepper flakes, sweet red pepper flakes, dried mint and isot pepper. I will also talk about the must have ones and options in the recipe. First I am going to soak my bulgur wheat in hot water, uh, roughly you can think as quarter cup for each person. It is little less than that so uh, this time I want I am gonna make it with one cup plus quarter cup. And use same amount of hot water to soak it. I'm gonna close it with another plate and let it soak while I prepare the other ingredients. There are many different versions of making this famous salad and I found this one the best and wanted to share this method with you which is to saute the onion red pepper and tomato paste with some olive oil before adding to other ingredients. This way you end up with more intense flavor while cooking the onion helps for easier digestion. So I'm going to saute the onion in about 6-7 tablespoons olive oil. Actually the flavor in this recipe comes from the oil so we have to use it a lot. If you prefer you can also use mix of vegetable oil and uh, olive oil but the best and healthier way is to use the olive oil. Meanwhile I want to cut my veggies Chop it very small. I'm gonna begin with the scallions using the green part too after uh, taking out the outer skin. Next, parsley. I'm gonna chop it very finely too. First, it seems a lot, but when you mix everything, it's really not and gives lots of flavor so you can use as much as you want. Pickles are optional but gives nice taste so I recommend you to add if you can. Just make a, a very tiny cubes when you are slicing. Also you can use a fresh cucumbers. Sometimes I use it but uh, this time I just wanted to show you but uh, didn't add it. Back to stove top, my onions are beginning to have some colors and now it's time to add the tomato red pepper paste and some of the spices to get some heat for a deeper taste. I'm adding about one and a half tablespoons tomato paste and close to one tablespoon a little less 
sweet red pepper paste there are two types sweet and hot i usually buy sweet ones and add more hotness by using some uh, hot red pepper flakes i'm gonna saute the paste for at least three four minutes until i have a nutty nice smells coming from them next the spices i did make a lot of search to give you the best recipe as much as i can so this was the last minute hint i got from a lovely lady which i like her so much like a sister to me and she is famous for its kısır so i added two teaspoon heaped dried mint one heaped teaspoon cumin and also hot red pepper flakes just going to give it a stir to give all the flavors inside the oil especially the dried mint works very well here and I'm ready to add my soaked bulgur with as you can see it is a little bit softer now you don't have to uh, cook actually it is uh, ready we are just going to stir it to give all the flavors inside the bulgur of course don't forget to add the salt it is about one heaped teaspoon and give it a good stir Since my kısır is almost ready, I'm going to brew my tea and gonna prepare the table. I shared how to make Turkish tea in another episode, you can watch from the links. Before adding the fresh ingredients, I'm gonna let the bulgur mixture cool a little bit, but as the spices, I added one teaspoon more dried mint along with one teaspoon isot pepper which is optional half teaspoon sumac and about one teaspoon sweet red pepper flakes let it cool down for at least 10 minutes and add the fresh ingredients actually i supposed to add the bulgur mixture on top of the uh, greens and give it a good stir in a bigger bowl but I made it reverse since I was also filming so I put it back and stir it gently after adding the greens you don't want to squeeze it too much and last ingredients about a one tablespoon pomegranate molasses I added little more it really gives a, a sweet soury taste so delicious you can say it is optional but it's a good option to have and i'm gonna add juice of one lemon too give it a one last stir and our kısır is ready as a menu along with kısır i wanted to prepare a turkish ladies tea party concept so I made the first thing that comes in mind börek with white cheese peynirli börek I made this in a pan but you can make it bigger in oven too I will share the recipe in the upcoming episode these crystal serving plates are very special from all times it was a, a tradition to buy them when you get married for your new house to complete the menu I'm going to serve stuffed grape leaves in olive oil zeytinyağlı yaprak sarması it's an appetizer made by wrapping rice and different spices on grape leaves but that's another story to share
Even though it is popular among the ladies' afternoon gatherings, it is surely a delicious menu to enjoy with family and loved ones too. It is more convenient and pretty to serve the kusur in small bowls. And after serving to my plates, we are ready to enjoy our menu. The recipe amounts and more details are in the description box below. You can check the links for the ingredients too. I hope you give it a try and enjoy it. Share your photos with me from my Instagram and Facebook account Turkish Food Recipes. I have many different menu ideas. If you like this episode, I'm sure you will like to watch them too. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.